Yo, what's up guys, it's Looney here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool RGB effect. But before I do that, I wanna tell you guys that only 30% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you go check that button right now, that'd be great, thank you. Another thing that I have to add is that uh, I will be creating a preset and putting the description on my pay hip. It'll only be a few dollars, and then it'll, it'll be the exact same as what I'm about to show you right now. Anyways, with that all out of the way, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to create this, uh, this effect here, we need to on the clip and we need to get our twixter. I want to cut the clip right for this little uh, muzzle flash here, right there. You can also tell uh, by the where the bullets go down, it goes from four to three. So I want to cut the clip right here. I want to grab twixter. It doesn't have to, it can be any of them, it doesn't really matter. Drag it on. Uh, I want to go down to here. We don't have to worry about any of these other settings, just go to speed percent. I want to click that, set it to 100. And I want to go one frame over and set it to 250. And I go one, two, three, four, five frames over and set it to 50. All right, that was easy. We've done that. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is grab our Twitch. So what we need to do is go over here. I'm just going to copy and paste Twitch. I had a copy of my clipboard already. So go to the very beginning of the clip, the very start, and keyframe it to 66, around that amount. It doesn't have to be exact. And then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 keyframes over and set it to 0. Alright, the next thing that we're going to add is our flicker, which is also very important. So we're going to copy and paste it onto the clip. And you guys can go ahead and copy these settings. No keyframes required for this one. I'm just going to leave it on screen for a second. Make sure to pause the video here. Alright, so our shake, we're going to have a lot of settings here that we need to do. So first, I'm going to drop it on. I'm going to show you the amplitude. So you're going to need to copy th this keyframe. Set the amplitude to... 0.3 and then at the very end of the clip you can set a keyframe for zero. All right, now that we have that done, scroll down, make sure to copy my other settings that I have here. Frequency of three, nice. Make sure these are set to reflect. That'll come in handy later. Keep scrolling, make sure to copy all of these settings. All right, and then here, this is one important setting. We wanna make sure that the red amplitude is set to four so we get this sort of RGB effect around the sides of our clip. All right, uh, and then I'll render it out. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. All right, guys, the video's done rendering. Here's what the clip looks like with all the effects applied. All right, guys, so that was the effect that I wanted to show you for today. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you learned something from this. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.